What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys i was not expecting this today we managed to solo hydra normal all by ourselves doing a whopping 145 mil i cannot believe it um but saying that son in my clan hopped on just before i started recording so we've got g doing 139 mil as well what a beast you are my good sir i cannot believe it but yeah, what can I say? Troll House, we're unstoppable. We are absolute monsters. Uh, but yeah, but this is the team that I was using. So we've got Hepafrek, uh, Liores, Tohanarak, Vizix, Godseeker, and Artrak. And you could easily replace every single champion on this team. And yeah, this is, you could replicate this with no problem. So um, just before we look at the run and talk about how to sub in these champions, I do want to ask if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. I do want to say as well, so this team is built up of three nukers or three damage dealers. Who do you think is going to do the most damage out of these guys? I think you are going to be surprised. I was surprised at who did the most damage. Um, but yeah, all really good champions though. Um, and then yeah, and then we just got these three supports just to help carry us to get that damage done. So yeah, let's check out the replay. So we need to do a little bit of self at the beginning. We need to provoke with Vizix. Uh, Godseeker can literally do anything. Our track is gonna come in with the HP burns. And then we've got um, Tanarak. We need to make sure she lands those um, block buffs. And then we're good to full auto the rest of the fight. So Leorez and Hepfrek are from my arena team. And you can literally sub them in for anyone that's built well and that does AoE um, damage. Ideally, someone that's going to be from your arena team. Um, champions that you can't bring in, though, would be like Husk or Royal Guard. Because their damage is based on enemy max HP, it just doesn't work for Hydra Normal. So it's not going to be as good as an option. Uh, our track, any HP burn champion can fill his shoes, but he does do more damage than the average HP burner. So it is difficult. Personally, I'll just bring in a third champion from my arena team. There's a new car that does AOE damage. Um, but if you really wanted to, you could bring someone like Sissia. I mean, she's an amazing HP burn champion as well. She does a lot of damage, just like our track. So that's another option. Um, Tohanarak can literally be replaced by any champion that does block buffs like Ugo, like Uko. Um, just those guys were probably the best ones though, in my opinion. But yeah, they can easily fill her shoes. Um, but she's pretty good though as well. She does cleanse and she does provide some healing as well. Uh Vizix, you know, she's filling two rolls, so she does throw out a slow, which is really strong for Hydra. And she does also provoke, and she also brings an ally protection as well. If I was to choose, I'd probably bring someone in that's going to boost her meter and ideally throw out slows. So that will definitely help the most, in my opinion. Um, but it's up to you. I mean, provoke is also a really good option to go as well. So you, that is the way you want to go. And then with Godseeker, literally any champion that heals and um, revives can fill her shoes. Um, but yeah, there's loads of options for revivers. And that is pretty much the team. And that's how you can replicate this. You just need champions that fill those roles. So, um, yeah, let's uh, skip to the end and see, you know, who has done the most damage out of uh, these three nukers. Seriously, you will be surprised. So we're just coming up to the end of the run now. Uh, we're only three, well, like 300 off hitting the turn limit max. Um, so let's see who's coming in at number one. And it's Hepfrak, which I was so surprised by. You know, he's in full stone skin where the other two are built in damage build. But coming in with a, just insane 46 mil on Hepfrak. Second place, Liores with 38 mil. And then Artak coming in with 35. Um, Godseeker doing an insane amount of healing with 4.9 mil. Um, but yeah, some really, you know, Steve Boy has got some work done today. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of the run. Let's look at the gear and masteries. First on the list is Hepaprak. So in full stone skin, I love this build. I think a lot of people 
it's controversial. Hepfrek is a controversial champion. Some people think th there's different ways to build him. You could go like triple crawl. You could go stone skin and crawl, or you could go instinct. But he's a really good champion, and you can definitely build him in many different ways. Let's just go through all his pieces. So we're just looking for speed, uh, crit rate, crit damage, and uh, attack percentage, ideally. But yeah, my one, he's built pretty well. Um, total stats, you know, the only thing that really matters is attack. Um, he's built really slow for arena. So actually for Hydra, you'd probably want him to have 200 plus speed at least. Um, crit cap, we've got 300 um, crit damage, which is pretty insane. And then the rest of the stats don't really matter. Um, I am lucky enough to have him full, fully ascended. And we've definitely gone for Soul Reap. Absolutely amazing on him. Uh, Masteries, again, this is he is built for arena. Um, so we've got Helm Smasher. But yeah, just very standard build for um, arena. So we got Leores in uh, Lethal and Perception. Again, just very standard. And you want the same sort of substats as Hepfrek, as Arena, Nuka. And mine's maybe a little bit too fast. Some people say that it should be 180. Uh, my one is speed tuned for my team and it works for me. Um, but yeah, so the stats that are important are attack, speed, crit rate, crit damage. And I'd like him to have either a bit more resistance or a bit more accuracy. Um, but that's the way I've built him. And obviously for Arena, we are taking Soul Reap on him. Again, Mastery is very similar to Hepfrax and just standard stuff, wanting to get counterattacks and all about that Helm Smasher. Next on the list, we've got to Hanarak. So she is in one piece resistance and then in perception. And again, I'll just go through all her gear just so you can see how I've built her out. And we haven't even fully rolled everything up just yet. Don't really need to though, to be honest. So HP is important on her. Defense is important. Speed is important. Um, resistance and accuracy are important on her as well. So I did put a lot of uh, resistance on her just so she can tank and help, you know, stop buffs getting stolen as well. And a decent amount of accuracy as well, so she can land her debuffs. Uh, Brimstone, probably not the best option for her for Hydra. However, um, this was back when Hydra, uh, when, sorry, when Brimstone was like broken. And to be fair, if you're sort of like early game or no, no, if you're like end game, you know, I still think having Brimstone on like two or three champions is a good way to go because it gives you a better chance of landing it. So having like one star Brimstone across three champions is actually a really good way to go because it just gives you a really good chance to land that smite. Uh, Mastery is very typical stuff. And to be fair, she doesn't really benefit. I guess Lasting Gifts would be the last one that I'll take on her. But, you know, it's not going to be like massive, to be honest, on her. But yeah, again, just a very sort of standard build and just going down to War Masters so we do that extra damage. So this is my Artak. And do you know what? He could definitely be built a lot better. Um, but he's really stat hungry. He needs a lot of stats. So if you if you got God tier, like Relentless, stick him Relentless. We'll talk about the stats in a moment. Um, but I went for Protection and Immortal because you want him to be fast and you want him to have good accuracy. Those are the substats you want to prioritize first. Uh, then you want to stick HP on him as well because he does lose his HP and I wanted him to have decent survivability. But um, yeah, so we've got 72k HP, 2.8k defense, 248 speed, 51 crit rate, 126 crit damage, and then 374 accuracy. So in an ideal world, what you'd want to do is bump up this crit rate and bump up this crit damage, and he will just do so much more damage. Um, if I could, I just don't have the Relentless gear. When you're free to play, it is hard to come by. Um, and, you know, Relentless gear is elsewhere, so I can't do it. But yeah, you would stick him in Relentless gear, and he would just do so much more damage. But this is still a really good build as well. Um, because he does AoE... Um, actually, do you know what? 
or the other way to go is stick a curse set on him. Curse would be amazing. So you can throw out Hex to every single champion. This means you can target the Head of Mischief, but also, um, you know, Hex means that you do more damage to uh, the Hydra Heads as well. So actually, Hex would be, um, sorry, not Hex, Curse would be a really good gear set, or even Provoke as well as another option. Uh, Masteries, I've not finished just yet. Um, I don't think he really benefits from any of these. Maybe Cycle of Violence would be good on him. Um, because he is going to do a lot of damage. So hopefully you can get that, um, you know, reset a random skill. The other thing that I think would be really good on him would be Master Hexer. Increase those HP burns. Um, so yeah, I do need to finish building them out. But yeah, again, just a very sort of standard mastery for um, Archak. Um, who? Vizex. So this is Vizex that I use for Doom Tower. And she's just in speed and perception. Again, this is actually quite an old build. I probably built her about two years ago. It's still good enough to clear every single wave on Doom Tower hard for every rotation. Um, but, you know, you could definitely, again, change her up. I'd say like a curse set or a provoke set would be really good on her. Or even regen as well is pretty good. But at the time, I needed the stats. And again, she does need... Um, Sort of, you know, she needs accuracy, she needs speed, and she needs to be tanky as well. So total stats, we've got 62k HP, 3.4k defense, 271 speed, and she needs to be fast for Doom Tower. So that's why she's so fast. And then a little bit of overkill in the accuracy, actually. I could probably drop that and bring in something else. Um, maybe like a HP chest. Or, oh, no. Maybe actually... A HP banner or a defense banner would be better. Um, but yeah, so definitely could swap that out for now. Um, and then, yeah, masteries. So very, very specific masteries. And this is because um, I built her specifically for um, Doom Tower. And at the time, I didn't have a stun set. I was planning to put her in a stun set, but I never did. So actually, I could probably change this around. Uh, she probably doesn't need fierce and presence to be honest anymore. Um, could actually probably put her in the offense tree so she does a bit more damage, but I don't want to mess around with it because it does work for Doom Tower. And then, last but not least, we got Godseeker, who is somewhere all the way down here, and it's my Godseeker that I've built for um, Sand Devil. She's not quite strong enough yet to do um, level twenty four and twenty five because you do need some insane stats so i have been farming hard uh trying to get better gear so i can do it but not just quite there at the moment so we've got defense on the gloves hp on the chest um hp on the boots defense on the ring defense on the amulet and then hp on the banner so total stats we've got 59k hp 4.2k defense 267 speed and then the rest of the stats don't matter at all on her. Um, blessings, if I was going to choose one, it would be... Where is it? Uh, I think it's Miracle Hill. Yeah, so it would be Miracle Hill. And that's just because of Sand Devil. Um, you know, basically it gives you a chance to restore um, destroyed max enemy HP. So this would actually be... It's really good for Sand Devil but it's also good for our attack as well. So it can help, you know, um, heal him up a little bit because he does destroy his own HP. And she's got specific masteries for Sand Devil, but they're pretty good. Um, and she, yeah, it just helps us stack up HP there. And she's got counter attack. But yeah, that's all you need to do. But again, guys, I cannot believe I just threw together this random team comp and we managed to solo uh, Hydra normal if anyone else is doing this please let me know what team comps you are in the comps below um and you know i want to do some new videos um i'm thinking about doing some champion guides if there's any champions that you'd like me to do a guide on actually let's just bring up my account and have a proper look at the roster if there's any champions that you see here that you think are pretty cool that you'd love to see a guide on please do let me know and drop a comment and i will try to get around to it and make a guide for it. 
because you know that's really what i want to do at the moment um, but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the video please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll catch you in a video soon peace